this is my client and this is some of the before pictures and look at these beautiful after pictures yes this is the beautiful style that i have achieved today and i am sharing with you i am going to share with you how to get your braids closer together yes sometimes you are braiding and those braids are too far apart there's too many spaces there's too many gaps well i am going to show you how to do that especially with clients who have hair loss so as you can see my clients have hair loss here at the top by her forehead she has hair loss on her edges on both sides so i am going to create a style that is going to cover those edges and cover all that hair loss that she has in the front so i have already gotten started and what i'm doing is i am braiding braids going forward toward her forehead and i am going to do what i call a swoop in the front and I am going to bring those braids that I braided coming down toward her forehead and I am going to swoop them around to the side and connect them so that she will have a swoop on both sides and that is what's going to hide the hair loss that she has on both sides so again here i'm not doing feed in braids so i am just using one piece of hair as i braid each braid yes they are nice size pieces of hair why because i want to make sure that we are covering all the hair loss and the braids need to be kind of thick so that the swoop will look really nice and full so as you can see here i am bringing each braid over across her forehead singly meaning one by one i'm bringing them around her forehead and i am connecting the braid and continuous braiding on the other side so please continue to watch as i bring each individual braid again one by one around her forehead and i'm going to continue braiding on the opposite side hopefully that makes sense if not visually you can see exactly what i'm doing and yes this is the trick using needle and thread yes the same needle that you would use to sew in a weave is the same needle and thread that i am using to bring these braids closer together so yes when you have those gaps when you have those spaces when you have someone who has hair loss and you want to make sure that those braids are close together so that you don't see a lot of their scalp this is what you do you sew and stitch the braids together yes and those uh, knots that you see right now they will not be shown yes you will not see any of them at all so again yes what you do is those two braids that are the closest to where that gap is or where that space is that you're trying to fill in take those two braids stitch or sew them together and that is going to bring those braids closer together so you don't have that gappy or that spacey look that's what makes the style look so much neater, so much more beautiful. That's what makes the style look neat and professional. So again, yes, you want to use the same needle and thread that you would use to do a weave. And I'm doing the same thing on this side that I just did on the other side. And I'm going to try to get a little closer so that I can let you see exactly how I close up a gap or a space so here are the braids that are coming around to create her swoop I want those braids to stay close together I don't want them to move when she showers or exercise or anything like that I don't want those braids to move at all so right here I'm going to show you how I close a gap on the side look at that gap can you see where my finger is there's a gap there i am going to 
push that braid that's closest to that gap and I am pushing them together and sewing them and that's how I'm going to close this gap up. So continue to keep watching. As you can see, I am just sewing those together. And what? Voila! That space is gone. There is no longer a big space right there or a gap. And again, like I told you, you would not see those knots at the beginning of her braids because I used really nice size pieces of braids. This is the style that I'm creating at the top so that you will not see any of the beginning of her braids at all. So what I did was I braided the braids just going from one ear across the top of her head to the other ear. And now I am sewing those braids together. That's what's going to keep it secure. That's what's going to keep this bun from coming down. It's not going to come down when she showers, when she exercises, when she runs or anything. So yes, this is her completed style. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and I brought some value. Please comment. Leave me any questions below. I love comments. I love asking questions. Thank you and much love to all my subs and all my new viewers. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to get your braids closer together. Do you have thin hair? Or do you have a client who has thin hair and you are trying to do braids, but they are too space far apart. There are too many gaps and those braids just do not look good. They do not look professional and they do not look neat. So I'm going to show you the method that I use when I have clients who have thin hair and I am trying to get those braids closer together for a nice, neater, professional look. As you can see here, I am taking small pieces of the braiding hair or the extension hair that I am using and I am inserting with my crochet needle small pieces of hair in that previous braid. This is the hair that I'm going to be using to do the next braid. And this is what's going to help get those braids closer together. So I am inserting a small piece of hair all the way down the previous braid that I just did. Here is the extension hair that I are the braiding hair that I'm going to start the next braid off with. So this is her hair as you can see it's very thin. Her hair is healthy but it is just thin. She's always had thin hair throughout her life. This is what she tells me. So as you can see here, I have started the braid and I'm using the extension braid or the braiding hair. And as I braid this braid, I am going to take those small pieces that I inserted in the braid before and I am going to use those pieces to braid in with the braid that I am braiding now. So I hope that makes sense. If not, please watch carefully as I pull those small pieces in to the braid that I am braiding now. And this is what's going to get these braids nice and close where you don't see a lot of her scalp and that there are not a lot of gaps in between her braids. If I did not use this method and just braided the braids going straight down, they won't be as close together and there will be a lot of gaps and a lot of scalp showing. So this braid is very beneficial for anyone who has hair loss, who has alopecia, who has thin hair, and again, you want to get those braids as close together as possible. So again, as you can see here, I have pulled those pieces close in and I'm braiding them in with the braid that I am braiding now. And look how close this braid is. These are small braids and you can use this method with any size braids that you choose. Small, medium, or jumbo. And there you have it. The braid, that braid is very close to the next braid. 
and I'm going to do this throughout the back of her hair to make sure that these braids are nice and close. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to tap that bell so that you do not miss any of my new videos as I upload new videos every single week. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and stay blessed.